Hey everyone, this is Bob from TrueAnalyticsRiches.com and this is Bob's Den. In this video, I'll show you how to find YouTube tags for views and the exact method I follow in each and every single video I upload on YouTube to get those tags that will bring me more views and subscribers. This is actually a two-part series on how to tag YouTube videos and in this video, like I said, I'm going to show you how to find those YouTube tags for more views and in the second part of this series I'm going to show you exactly how you should tag your YouTube videos. Alright in this video I'm going to show you how to find those YouTube tags for more views and this is the first part of the two part series on how to add tags to your YouTube videos. Make sure you guys uh, watch both of my videos on that because I'm pretty sure you're going to benefit a lot from these videos All right, let's go ahead and see what I'm going to do here I have a method I follow on each and every single YouTube videos on all my channels in YouTube which helps me to rank higher in the search results and and thereby to get more views and subscribers so i'm going to use for demonstration purposes here one of my videos from my other photography channel and i'm going to take this particular video here and it's a video showing a quality the quality of a lens and this is the lens here the name of the lens like it's nikon 35 millimeter 1.8 g lens please disregard all these uh, you know tech features and everything like that if you're not into uh, cameras and lenses it's all right i'm just using this video for demonstration purposes here and to show you guys how i got this video to come up in search results for certain keywords or search terms all right so before you upload your video you can decide for yourself what all tags you're going to use. I would suggest that you make a notepad and I'll just name it tag. Uh, you can name it whatever you want actually. So this is the video I am I'm going to show you um, as an example. So this is a video showing the quality of that particular lens. And so what would be the search terms people use in the search bar to find that particular video. All right, let's start off by typing in the name of that lens in the search bar. So it is Nikon 35 millimeter lens, okay? So as soon as I start typing in these words, you can see all these suggestions given out by YouTube. So these are actually search terms or search phrases. People are typing in in, inside the search bar to see similar videos so you can you can use that for your tags because that's already used by people right so what am I um, what is my video about it is the uh, it's it is about Nikon 35 millimeter lens and is that a review no I'm not going to do a review uh, that video is not about a re review but it is a video so I'm I, as you can see here I have uh, done a test video compilation, so I don't want to, uh, you know, uh, fool people into getting uh, to that particular video. But I want to give the content exactly what they're looking for, right? So I'll put, I'll take that one. So Nikon 35 millimeter lens video. I'll copy that, and I'll put that. I'll paste that on the notepad here. I have. So, and as you can see, I have my um, video there already on the second place there, if you discard the ad there. Okay, so let's keep on going with selecting or finding the tags we wanna use. So next I will do Nikon 35, actually 35 millimeter video. Okay, so now you have one, two, three, for five tags there actually you can you can use that all so I'm going to copy that I'll decide later if I want to use all of that or not so I'm going to copy all of that so now I have finished collecting all those suggestions given by YouTube from this particular uh, key, key phrase actually so you can see that first I use this one and then I input that particular phrase into the search bar and I got all these right so let's go ahead and dig a little bit deeper so I want some other exact keywords here 
So let us see what if I put in Nikon 35 millimeter DX so because it's a DX um, lens. So let's put in DS, DX lens. So let us see if there is any key phrases or keywords with the word video. Let us see here, right there. So this one is the exact keyword I'm looking for because people are already looking for that one and that's exactly what I have done here uh, by doing this particular video. And you can see for that exact key phrase as well, I have my video on top of the search result. So I will input that as well and I'll, I'll put a space there so that I, I know I have um, used different keywords to find those. Okay, let's go a little bit further. All right, now let us try if there is anything for Nikon 35 millimeter test video. So when I put that in, I got this one video test. All right, both are similar. Uh, and let us see if I have anything already here. Uh, video test Nikon 35 millimeter. No, um, these are all with the words lens in it. So I'm going to take these two as well. All right, so I finished uh, adding those two as well to my tax list, and I think I have almost all the um, all the specific keywords I was looking for. But let's dig a little more and deeper and see if there is anything at all. Let's see the Nikon 35 millimeter video compilation or video footage. footage no nothing like that but I'm still going to add all these different ones so make sure you watch the other part of this video where I show you how to add the tags and I add in some more tags to it and all the different types of tags um, I use for my YouTube videos so these are the keywords or key phrases I, I would like to call them which I found using this method and these are actually targeted key phrases so people are actually looking for the exact same keywords or key phrases for to find that video we are actually kind of like back engineering the the search search process you can say if you will so anyway that is how I find my tags exactly the way I showed you here and make sure you watch the other video that is so important that's where I show you how I add some more tags and how to add tags to YouTube videos. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something from this. All right, I really hope that now you understand how to find those YouTube tags which will bring you more views. And make sure you watch the second video on this series where I show you how to tag your YouTube videos correctly. I'll let you go do that and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.